Momentarily join us and your 2023-24 season starts right here. It's a brand new Eagles team, a brand new squad, a big squad as well. Lots of new names to learn and perhaps a brand new era under Lee Burcham. Today's opponents then, Kidlington FC. We all remember what happened last time these two met. Let's hope we get 90 minutes of football today. The season's underway, the game's underway. Go on you Eagles! All in possession now. Here's Ryan Blake, edge of the area, looks out wide. Finds Green, back to Blake. First chance on goal, plays it in low. And it's the goalkeeper who gets down low well to save. First shot on target, first corner of the game as well. Well, corner taken in by Kyle Connolly. The left foot swings it into the back post. Had an impressive pre-season, did Kyle Connolly. Swinging that left foot round like a wand. Let's hope he can transfer that to the season. Now that Heller has gone out for a goal kick, and this is Walsh to get the better of his man, does exactly that, gets it inside. Cross comes in, receives applause from behind the goal. We're in fine voice in the opening 20 minutes of this one. Well, second corner of the game then, once again to the home side. Looks up, plays it in, once again in swinging, edge of the six yard box. Pretty much headed off the line, Bedford will want to get this back in for exactly that and cleared by the Kidlings in defence. Well, as the wind swirls around the area, it's Bedford who can see the goal kick, played in by Kidlington to the back stick. Still in play, ball comes in. Takes a deflection, goes to the first corner of the game for uh, Kidlington this afternoon. All right, the ball played in then, near stick. Pings out, chance perhaps to break here. This is Walsh on the ball. On the left hand side, not many blue shirts in support here. The two with a few, they're arriving now. It's Blake in the middle, Spall arrives at the back post. It is Spall, and there it is with the number nine on his back. Spall bangs it into the back of the net and the scoring has been opened. Deadlock broken. And that all started from defense down the left hand side. Ball played in. Ball arriving at the back stick, hammers it home. It is Bedford Town 1, Kidlington 0. Kidlington then. What will be the reply from the green and white shirts? In possession now. On the right hand side, looking to cross from the deep to the back post. Runs out of play. Oh, another corner then. Start to Bedford Town. Wind again swirls around this far end of the area. Head on it. Keeper makes a good save. The rebound, however, is in the back of the net, and we're 20 minutes into this one. 2 0 to Bedford. The goal scorer this time, Jack Green. Goal number two, Jack Green. And there we go, 20 minutes into this one. All came from the set piece, corner in. 2 0. Jack Green with a goal to his name already. Here's Watkins inside the Kidlinton box. And dealt with suitably by the defence. Perhaps a chance to break here for the away team. A lot of the play has been inside the Kidlinton half. They do, however, put a free kick on this occasion. Off from the back again, then Bedford in possession. Here's uh, Walsh with a man on. Looks to play a diagonal ball, finds Connolly on the far side. Plays it back. Shot comes in from Watkins. Keeper does well to get down low and save. It was uh, a shot with some venom. Stays out with the back of the net. Still 2-0 to Bedford Town. It's uh, Captain Collard with the uh, bright orange armband who wins that one. Played forward. The pace here from Walsh is pretty impressive. Oh, no, However, the linesman has got his flag up. I mean, it was, um, it was late, but he saw something. A lovely touch into Ryan Blake's feet. Gets a cross in. Anyone there? Not quite. Still in blue possession though. Connolly's left foot! Oh, it's incredible! The flag stays down and Ryan Blake opens his account for this season. That is three. And he looked directly over at the linesman. 
I mean, it did look suspiciously offside. Lost the big out here. The linesman didn't give it, and the referee has come over. Bit of a discussion, and the goal does stand. It is three for Bedford. Here's Walsh then, dancing around. A few step overs. It's the beating of two green shirts. Dangerous ball in. Get in and deal with it. Ryan Blake's got other ideas here. And it's uh, back with Ryan Blake on the far side. Still Blake, ball into the box. Connolly picks it up. Looking to turn, shot from distance from Watkins. Wide of the post. Still free to bed for we're approaching half time now. Well, there we go. Morgan Griffiths wins the ball. The referee blows for half time, and 45 minutes have been played here. It's 3 0 to Bedford Town, and Bedford Town, if we're being honest, have been absolutely textbook. Moment of controversy at half time, of course, was the third goal from Ryan Blake. Was he offside? Wasn't he offside? Well, I'll let you decide that. But uh, as the teams leave the pitch at the break, it is Bedford Town 3, Killington 0. players are ready and they're all out for the second half and the second half is underway Nats in the house loving life and so are Bedford Town it's 3-0 and uh, I should imagine the half-time team talk would be uh, more of the same as Connolly looks to latch onto this brings it down nicely Cannons off the green shirt and the ball is away 3-0 Bedford Town second half coming up right now Oh, a free kick conceded here then, it's just outside the uh, Bedford area. It's an early chance for Kidlington. Well, four-man wall for Bedford. Ball comes in, it's aimed for the top corner and that is on a postage stamp. Right from the off in the second half and uh, that all of a sudden makes things interesting. No clean sheet for Bedford Town this afternoon. An excellently uh, executed free kick. That is uh, Bedford Town 3, Kiddington have pulled one back. One. Oh, Kiddington come forward again now then. Another chance on goal and it's uh, come wide of the post. Took a deflection along the way. Corner to Kiddington. They've come out the blocks in the second half. Corner is taken short. Taken quickly as well. Cross comes in now. Back post. Bit for Bedford to think about there. Collard had to rise. Didn't take a touch, goes for a goal kick, but Bedford don't want to take their foot off the gas too much here. Well, this is uh, Walsh on the ball now. Bedford in a quite promising position here. Fancies it on his own. Did the hard work. Shot with Venom. Ends up over the bar. Well, Prey restarted them from the halfway line. Free kick taken. Here's Blake looking to turn. Givens in defence again. Deal with the danger. Have somewhat evened themselves out in the second half after a bright start from Kidlington. This is a long ball forward. Oh, Don Morgan Griffiths takes it, plucks it out the air. And ball appealed, mostly from behind the goal. It is a goal, a uh, corner ball. Corner ball. We're taking them. Looks up, whips one in, keeper rises, plucks it out the air. Still 3 1. Long diagonal ball here then. Oh my goodness, it's found uh, Walsh. Shot comes in from Blake who is uh, who is very hungry. That was a very bright move from Bedford. Recognize me. Oh, it's another incredible touch from Morgan Griffith. He's inside the box now, needs to pick a pass. This Ooh. danger, danger, high voltage. 3-1 to Bedford. The score remains. <laughs> Come on. Oh, that's a great ball. Ryan Blake looking for his second, brings it down. It's in the net! Referee looks at the linesman. Linesman looks at the ref, but the goal will stand. Ryan Blake, with, a, with his second of the game, takes Bedford to four. 
All the power, all the desire, Ryan Blake is off the mark. Well, ball in here as raindrops fall in the sky, Ryan Blake almost, almost gets his hat trick. Inches away from that one, the rain is coming down now. Well, 25 minutes into this one then, the play has slowed down slightly, the rain has started coming down and this south stand or north stand or northeast stand is packed full of Eagles fans now this afternoon. Love to oh, see this it. rain really coming down now. I've actually just taken a share of the gents' toilets. I'm sure John Motts never had to do this. It's Spall with a goal to his name, making way. And his replacement, uh, Emmanuel Daye. The game goes a bit stale with the rain, but uh, it subsides now. Bedford do come forward, looking for a fifth in this one. Takes a deflection off the green shirt, and it has gone for a corner ball. Corner to Bedford, and this is taken by Kyle Connolly, who incidentally did score from that position on the last pre-season game. On this occasion, he's headed out by the defence. Still in blue possession, however. Could do with a bit of support. Finds that in Walsh. Skips past his man, has a dig. Keeper can't hold it, pings it away. Danger not over yet for Kidlington. And there it is, back of the net. It is your captain, Alex Collard, leading from example with that orange armband on. Scored on the first game of pre-season, has scored on the first game of the uh, competitive season. Captain Collard. Near side is Walsh into Morgan Griffith. Returns the ball. Oh my goodness me, is he a magician? Kiddinson do, however, come away with the ball. Morgan Griffith treks back, tracks back even, and uh, regains possession into the French player of Daye, his green. Looks up, looks to switch it, and if this lands on its target, we're going to win the league. Perfect ball. Walshie wins the throw in. Bedford Town. Morgan Griffith. Looks to take his man on. This is lively from Bedford. Back to Walsh. Ball comes in. Well, here's Morgan Griffith then. Down this left hand side on the halfway line. Cheeky little back heel to Walsh. Who skips past one, skips past two. He's. My goodness, it's magic from Walsh. Defender gets a leg in, goes for a corner. That receives a big round of applause because Walsh has produced some absolute electric magic down this left-hand side. Morgan Griffiths looks in a hurry to take this, despite being in injury time. It does indeed take it. Bedford perhaps now content to keep this in the corners. Nope, good cross. Chance for six. Heads up, could end up anywhere this. Oh. Shot comes in eventually. It's from Emmanuel Daye, it goes over the bar as the rain decides to return once again. As this rain once again has decided to return is Daye. Manny plays it out and that is all we're going to see at the Erie on this uh, opening day of the season and if we're being honest it's been absolutely beautiful from Bedford despite the goal conceded um, Kiddinson came out of the second half very well but um, Bedford Town have more than held their own look very very bright in stages what more could you ask on a season opener 464 in attendance at the beginning of the season um, there's room for more. You're all welcome. Come on down because this team are looking good. Final score then here this afternoon as the rain comes down this British summertime. Bedford Town 5, Kidlington FC 1. Well, ladies and gentlemen, British summertime is here. It's absolutely teeming down and uh, Bedford Town have indeed won 5-1. I'm signing this one off on my own today because some of us are sunning themselves in sunny Portugal but um, you missed a good game today Bedford Town have looked absolutely textbook incredible um, goal conceded but we won't worry about that um, other than that McDonald at the between the sticks hasn't really been tested um, 
we go again on Tuesday. This campaign is well and truly underway as um, Dominic Morgan Griffiths just casually does keep ups as he wanders along the halfway line. Um, Tuesday night, Barton Rowers at home, be there. We're underway. So much better than last year. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <my new method. laughs>